All right, hello. Uh, I made a video a long time ago when I first built uh, the uh, A11 VCO um, about how to calibrate it. And I think I might have put in too much information. So I kind of wanted to make a simplified version, like the fastest way to do it and leave out some of the stuff we don't need. So uh, in Ableton, I've got a simple... Uh, it's a three octave sequence, so it's going from C1 to C3, um, and then that's going to the MIDI to CV converter, and then that's um, going to the VCO, which has not been calibrated. This is a fresh uh, texture repair for a customer. We can see that it's not calibrated at all. It's going from C3 to D sharp 5. So. What I do, because, you know, you can use the knobs to calibrate the pitch, right? You can send a C1 to C3 sequence and detune it using the pitch control to be D1 to G3, etc. So we're not going to care about that. All I'm going to do is start turning the volt per octave trigger, or a trimmer, excuse me, until I see that the pitch is the same. It can be a couple octaves apart, that's fine. It, I mean, it should be three octaves. Two octaves apart, sorry. So I'm just going to turn it until it gets there and try and keep track to make sure I'm going the right way and not making the distance further. Trying to count notes in my head. So I'm like five apart. I might be going the wrong way here, fam. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. Might get them further apart. That's not good. So now we're couple notes apart, octaves, you know, we're not counting the octaves because we know those are there. So now we're getting real close. Now I'm very slowly turning. It's going to end up being like F or E. Alright, so now we're real close. We almost have it. And now I just want... A little green detune line to be the same. Going real slow. It's real close here. Oh, went too far. Now, since we're kind of on the cusp between these two notes, and that makes it confusing, I'm going to detune the oscillator, make it a little flat, just get on the same note page. That's going to make it easier for me to dial this in. That's really good. So now, because I'm doing this for a customer, I'm going to sit here and like 
really get anal about this tuning. But this is more than musical. If I turn, I'll get it square on D sharp first with the uh, fine tune knob. And then if we turn up the volume, we're real close. So that's how I do it. I don't really care if it's playing C or not, even though that's the sequence, because I can tune it, right? I can make it play C all day long. And that part's kind of irrelevant. Anyway, that's how uh, you do this quickly. Hope that helps.